Hi, and welcome to Fifi's Bookshelf. I'm Fifi, and I have an interesting story for you today. And it's called Sade, We're Moving to Canada. Written by Yawanda Danielle Ade. So, get cozy and lend me your ears. And let's get reading. Dad comes home early, holding a big brown envelope. He and mom sit at the kitchen table, whispering. Then they gather the family together. We have exciting news, mom announces. Are we getting a new car? Dele, my older brother, asks. We going on vacation? Simi, my younger sister, says. We're moving to Canada, dad says. Dele whoops and hops from one foot to another. Everyone talks at the same time. Simi asks if we will fly on an airplane. Dele wants to know if he will be in the same grade at school. They chatter on and on like my best friend Uza, guinea fowls. They don't even notice when I leave the room. I am very upset. I don't want to leave Nigeria. How will I watch Bino and Fino and eat my guavas when they turn yellow? and collect eggs from Eeny, Meeny, Miney, and Mo. I run across the street to Uza's house. When I tell her the news, she's not pleased. At least someone understands what a bad idea this is. At school, I ask my teacher about Canada. Do they plant guavas? No, dear, said Miss OKK. But they grow other fruit that are just as tasty. She shows me a picture of a kiwi. It looks like an African star apple covered with fur, and the inside looks like green pawpaw, but with tiny seeds and cat whiskers. Will they let me bring any, meeny, miny, and mo? <laughs> oh, Sade, Miss OKK laughs. You can't bring chickens on an airplane. This is not good. I must stop Mom and Dad from making this big mistake. So, I make a plan. But that sneaky Simi tells mom and spoils my plan. Then I make another plan. This is the bank. Someone broke your account and stole all your money. You have no money to move to Canada. Sign bank. But that doesn't fool anyone. I have just one idea left. I hope this works. I tell any, many, money, and mo. Hello, Miss Koga. This is the police. We have made a new law. You cannot leave Nigeria for the next five million years. Shut day. Come here at once, calls mom. Uh-oh. Something tells me you are worried about moving to Canada, mom says. I don't want to move to Canada. I want to watch Bino and Fino and eat my guavas when they're ripe and gather eggs before school. And, and Uza will really miss me. Change can be hard, mom says. You lose some things, but you gain some too. Like what? I ask. Why don't we make a list? Mom suggests. I run to get paper and a pencil while mom makes hot chocolate. When I return, mom hands me my favorite mug and says, Dad will probably work fewer hours. Dele stops doing his homework and joins us. He says, that would be great because sometimes dad comes home after we are asleep. I want to see more of dad, I say. And you can still watch Bino and Fina on the internet, mom adds. That sounds okay to me, but I'm still a little worried. Will I ever see Uza again? I ask. Not for a while, but you can talk to her on the phone, Mom promises. I'll tell her all about our new house and school and friends. Will I make friends in Canada? Are you kidding? Mom winks. Children will be standing in line when you arrive, calling, Sade, pick me, pick me. Dele rolls his eyes. I smile. Mom can be silly, but I do feel better. And it snows in Canada, Mom says. Snow, I whisper, opening my eyes wide. 
My favorite book is A Snowy Day. We'll make snowmen and go sledding. All went alone, mom smiles. You know, hot chocolate tastes much better after you've been playing in the snow. Good things about Canada. One, more dead. Two, new friends. Three, snow. I pin my list to the wall in my room. That night, I dream of a place that is snowy and a little cold, while smiling kids and funny fruit with cat whiskers. Maybe, just maybe, moving to Canada won't be so bad after all. The end.